How do everybody? As you can see, the sun is shining. That's a novelty for my video, isn't it? I know I've just tempted fate and I'm going to get wet at some point today, but you know, let's pretend that we're going to stay dry all day and we're going to have a wicked one. We've made it back to Stoke on Trent. Done a few Stoke crawls before uh, and Newcastle under line. You can find the videos uh, on the channel. So today we're hitting up the thing called the Hearts Hill Mile. Um, not enough on there to make the whole day of it, so we're padding it out as well. We've got a few up in uh, a Maybank area or something like that, uh, and then into Newcastle under Lyme again to do a couple that we hadn't done. So it's going to be a good day. Uh, we've got Jody with us. Holly's in the pub with her already. We've got Jody with us, who you find in the Newcastle under Lyme video. Great local tour guide, lovely lass. Should be a good day. Easter Saturday pub crawling to bring it on. So we've met Jody in our first. It's called the Village Tavern. This is a craft union pub. You know me, I love a good craft union pub these days. So that is stop number one of the day. Village Tavern, here we go. Okay, first pub of the day, so it's a craft union. It's quite small for a craft union in here, but we're joined by a special guest. Come on. Hi. Jody. So you, you've, you've seen Jody from the from the Newcastle video before. And? Hi, I'm Bernie. It's Bernie, see? And you, uh, you've met my wife. Yeah. yeah. So yeah little, little craft union pub, does standard craft union stuff on the taps. Friendly enough place. Uh, screens around all over, actually you expect to find. Nice little start. Looking at looking at 21 pubs for the day, according to Jody's list. So let's see how we go. 20, 20 to do. One down, 20 to go. Yeah, see, I can count this time of day. Honestly, sometimes I don't know who plans these routes, but I'm sick to death of walking all the way next door to the next stop. What's this called? The Four Candles. Four Candles. And it is, yeah, literally next door to the Village Tavern. So uh, well done, Jody. That's my kind of. Four, the four candles up next. What a lovely little place this is. So it's a really good tap. Oh, very nice little place. Nice little micro pub. Good. Doing well so far. So far, so good. Uh, and a three minute walk then brings us to the middle of a, a housing and shoppy bit too. To whip it in. Another nice looking little micro pub this. But yeah, thus far, the day is going swimmingly well and the sun is still shining. Whip it in number three. So you love this, what a great little micro pub this is. Wonderful selection of stuff. <laughs> I love salt, as you know, we were in, uh, those of you who watched the, the video, we were in Salt Beer Factory not long ago, a couple of weeks, which was a lovely place. Lovely little place this is, look. Super little micro pub, dog friendly, and some really good selections of bits on the taps. Top place. Absolutely love the Whip It In, to be honest, that is right up my street. Lovely people running that, lovely people in there drinking. Really nice atmosphere, loads of dogs. I prefer dogs, I prefer dogs to people, as you know. So, thought that was an absolutely wicked pub. Really enjoyed it. Very glad to have uh, seen that one. Another two minute walk, brings you down to the Archer uh, on a roundabout. It's the last one of Wolves Stanton before we go over there into Maybank, apparently. So this is the Archer, lovely pub. Stop number four of the day. Here we go. Great old school pub. This really good. Uh, really good selection of the ales. Look, some of these. A bloke, I think that's a great name for now. A bloke down the pub, clever Colin. Got like that. Isn't it? Three more in there. Yeah, really good selection of stuff on in here. Dog friendly, lovely. Give us a wave. Yeah, see. Camera pub of the month. I can see why it's camera pub of the month with that selection. Really good. Really good little place. So far, so good. I don't want to blow smoke up Jodie's backside yet, but uh, that's far. She's doing a pretty good job of where we're going. <laughs> really like the Archer again. Um, I, I love, I love old school pubs that feel homely and come and, and, and that does it. It was a nice welcome to what end. The landlord, he, he seems a nice fella. Seven real ales on. Can't knock that, can you? Decent place, dog friendly, lovely. Uh, three minutes further down the road. We didn't walk across the marshes. Marshes. I'm not walking across marshes, which is this. So just a green space. I mean, it looks like just a field to me, but apparently they call it the marshes because you can. So we didn't walk across the marshes. We walked round a path. Three minutes. Not far to uh, to get. To. Recently reopened, apparently. Cricket as arms. So this is stop number five. We've been joined by Andy from the Pottery's camera, as well. So it's uh yeah, stop number five of the day. Let's go and see what this. Uh, let's go and see what this has to store. It's a little bit nondescript, like, it's only just reopened. I don't think they've really found their feet with what they're doing yet. A few real um, on a bar. Bar, yeah, you can just watch the, watch the sport and stuff under there. 
But um, in the other room by the pool table, they've got one of those uh, one of those punch machines. You know the ones you bat the old pissed up lads trying to prove how hard they are. And I, like, I can't stomach things like that. I don't get it. Like I've never known a pub to benefit more from one of those awful machines than just why would you want pissed up lads all trying to like throw fists and try and prove how hard they are because it always it's going to end in tears somewhere isn't it so I don't get it but you know let's move on <laughs> yeah I mean that was everything I was expecting to be really quick it's, um, it's not necessarily my cup of tea but you know it might be somebody's um, two minute walk across the way to another little micro pub called the shed hey, they, do, uh, they do food so micro pub with a bit of food called the shed this looks nice. So this is stop number, yeah, number six of the day, the shed. This one's got a great little beer selection, loads of offers from Camden. We're gonna have the Camden Stout, so I do like the Camden Stout. May I drink? They've also got Pels and a pail on. But yeah, nice, nice little place this. That's more quirky, quirky decor, bits like that. I like it, I'm very impressed. I absolutely love the shed. I think that was uh, that really picked us back up in Maybank after the Grigas. That was a that's a top notch pub. Uh, great little micro. But oh, I, I sometimes use the word "wow." Don't know when I see buildings and uh, I'm, I'm going, "Wow, look at this." So this is the Victoria Emberins, run by Emberins now. So obviously food food house as well as pub. But look at that. How beautiful is that? Stop number seven of our day, the Victoria. Can't go wrong with this, I'm sure. Huge rep up, like I said, I really like Ember Inns, uh, been quite a few now. Um, choices on the taps and some good real ale choices. They've come down here. Yeah, these are pretty decent choices to see. On a bit. Massive great pub. Some screens around, rugby and things, dog, uh, dog menu. Nice, uh, nice big pub. A slightly odd uh, way of asking people not to sit at tables that reserved, not not reserved for an hour and a half. Sat at a table and we were quickly ushered off it quite rudely. But aside from that, decent. I, said, I do like Emberins, and it's, uh, it's a big, decent sized pub. Emberins pub said, you, you know what you're getting on to. They, they they do what they do better than harvesters, uh, <sighs> beef eaters, things like that. They, they, they do what they. You know what you're getting there. But we've dipped out of our original plan because we had to come back and see and revisit. Bridge Street Alhouse. This little beauty on, as you might be out of guess by the name, Bridge Street. Because the landlord, Grum, this, this wonderful gentleman here, the landlord, he keeps me entertained like hell on Facebook all the time. Like all legends. And we had to come and see him again. So we've dipped out of what we were doing to get back to Bridge Street in Newcastle under line. We come to Bridge Street Alhouse. I'll show you what it's like inside. It's a wicked little place. Um, it's in the Newcastle under line video last time anyway, but wicked little place. So we're dipping into this before we go off and do the, the Hearts Hill Mile. Happy days. Dale, I hear you ask. When you've got so many pubs to do in one day, why do you go back to places that you've already been to? Sometimes I do that because I just know I'm gonna get a great beer. And look at this. People have excelled themselves with this shot of porter. And I can always say that is one of the best things I have had all year so far. But I love this place. It is a wicked, wicked, wicked little gaff. Um, I can't, I can't say fair than that. Like, if you come to Newcastle, you can't come and not come and see these guys because the beer's great, the welcome's great. It's just exceptional, and I'm going to go and enjoy my uh, my chocolate from from ti oh, Tiny Rebel. Mwah. Well done, lads. Out of Bridge Street Our House and down a dodgy alleyway, courtesy of Jody, uh, and we come to something that was shut last time we got to Newcastle up the line, and it's reopened. The Crow Music Lounge and Bar, and apparently it's now a wicked rock dive bar. Which, I mean, that's music to my ears straight away, isn't it, that? So I'm glad to see this is open. So the Crows is our next stop. Um, we're in Newcastle on the line still. Yeah, not, not far to walk from Bridge Street, our house. Pleased to see this open, because yeah, I do remember us coming down here now and it was shut and it looked sad that it was shut. And now I'm a happy boy. We're having a blinding day again so far. You can, uh, you can find some absolutely magical pubs if you just look for them. Music bar, rock dive bar. I'm all over this. And I'm still living off that uh, that tiny rebel chocolate stout. Porter, chocolate porter. I'm still living off that. What a, what a beer. Ooh, best beer I've had all year. And that's saying something. Right, I'm so glad that this is open now because I absolutely love this. You know what I like? And some of the choices. I've actually got this. So tiny rebel who are now living rent free in my head. I've gone for this. Some of the stuff I've got at the back on there. No. This, is a, this is a wicked, wicked, wicked. Look at this. Wicked little places. That tiny rebel, it's a red IPA. It's called Kutch, which apparently in Welsh means hug. Look at me learning, learning as I go. 
It's dog friendly. It's cute. Look at this little cutie. It's a. Uh, this is mint. Mega place. Glad it's reopened because honestly, we were so gutted it wasn't open last time we came. So I'm well happy, mate. I love it. Um, everything about this place. Ten out of ten. Love it. Right, honestly, the last couple of places have been really spoiled. But the beauty of knowing people in the area and then forcing their uh, their friends to drive us around, Jody, is that Rob uh, has driven us to the Holy Inadequate, which Jody categorically tells me is the best pub in Stoke-on-Trent. I said, I'll be the judge of that. I'm the professional. So, this, this, the Holy Inadequate, and it is, yeah, honestly, you could, probably couldn't do this on a normal pub crawl bit because it's not really near anything. So we, we're about to the Hearts Hill Mine in a minute. It's, it's a, a, been a five minute drive up to here. Um, free house and brewery tap. Love a good brewery tap. So yeah, the Holy Inadequate is up next. And I'm actually quite looking forward to it. It's been bigged up. Well, looking forward to it. You know how argumentative I am. When I categorically get told something's the best pub in somewhere, I absolutely disagree. I don't know if I do this for as well, it's pretty damn cool in this. Oh. oh well. Oh. Oh, no. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Cherry limeade from there, it's, it's beautiful. Honestly. Neon wraps out said where where we live. Salt, whoever the uh, whoever the rep is for Salt Brewery has done a wicked job around Stoke on Trent and this area, haven't they? But they, they brew their own stuff, so that's what we were last night, so they open, but this is from them, you know quite here. Great little place though, with an absolute wealth of Oh, let me squeeze in here. An absolute wealth of some of the ales they have on here. Thank you very much. Sir. <laughs> Another meal wrapped up. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, to be fair to Jodie, she's not done bad so far with her recommendations. And yeah, this is pretty damn special. It is, it's practically out of the way. But it's well worth a visit. Um, that Vol City Tower. Superb. But um, yeah, brewery taps are always the way forward, aren't they? And this is a really good one. Right, so here we go. Um, Holy Nagua actually is absolutely not what it says on the tin. Uh, Holy Nagua, because it is absolutely very adequate. It's it's more than adequate, it's super. Very glad we went there, but welcome to the actual point of the video. The point of the video was we were gonna come and do the Hearts Hill Mile. So 10, 11, 12, however many pubs are in that we've done. Yay, we made it to the bottom of the Hearts Hill Mile. So we got dropped off here uh, by Rob. And the Johnny Potters is the first one on the bottom of the Hearts Hill Mile. So here we go. Let's, uh, this takes us back towards Newcastle on the line where undoubtedly we'll probably end up again later. So here we go from there. Had a great day so far. All of it is reasonably close. Uh, you can do it taxis or walking, whatever, but let's do this Hearts Hill Mile. Johnny Potters, up next. First on the mall, uh, a little square pub, four different rooms off uh, off from the bar. Ales on offer. No neck oil, run out, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we're, in the, we're in the first little room, look. There we are. The, uh, yes, yeah, so far so good. Uh, I don't know how many pubs there are on this mile now. I just keep going with the flow, so we'll see where we end up. So, pub number two along the Hearts Hill Mile. Takes us to the Robin Hood. These guys are lovely. These guys have followed our page for a long time. Uh, I'm really looking forward to being here because I, I love it when we interact with people who, uh, who follow the page. Nice little pub. Uh, so it's a two minute walk from the first one along the mile. So I get the feeling that we're not gonna have an awful long way to walk between each pub along here, which is exactly up my street and I like it. Pub number two on the Hearts Hill Mile, pub number 13 of our day thus far. It's Robin Hood. I tell you, I'm finding some beers today. The best Irish stat, and I say this all the time, the best Irish stat you will ever find, sod that Conor McGregor rubbish, that forge. It is diabolical, coffee-flavoured rubbish. The best Irish stat you can find, the best Irish stat you can get available anywhere in the UK, or the world, really, for me at the moment, is Brennan's Irish stat. And it's on, in here, in, uh, I know I know it's got carling next to it, but don't judge. Um, in the Robin Hood, which is a damn wicked little place. Um, Absolutely love it. Lovely, like, old, old. But, so that like, low ceiling, low ceiling, original beams. Bits like that. Walk around and see. Gorgeous looking little boozer. Old school pub. But Brennan's Irish Stout, honestly, trust me, best Irish Stout you'll find anyway. If you're a pub watching this, get it in. Yeah, I really like Robin. That's a, a great pub, actually. This end of the mile, so a, a minute walk down from the Robin Hood. But yeah, that's a, that's a super pub. Playing great music as well, a little bit of rock music and stuff going on in there really friendly atmosphere lovely people running it i really really do like that one 
Third one along the Hearts Hill Mile will be this, Noah's. So a minute, literally what a minute from up there down to, down to this, the Noah's. Start number three on this mile. So it's nice, it, it's smart, swanky, feels good. Uh, run by an Indian couple. So the menu, it's like a curry house, Indian menu. Um, Shank is, but there's no hand pumps on, but decent taps, so obviously good wines. A plethora, a plethora of wines in the, uh, in the thing. The rest of stuff. And uh, yeah, pub side, but then, yeah, through to this, through to this side over here, Indian dining. Do do English dishes as well, for those that don't like curries, but it works, doesn't it? Curry house, inside a pub, it works. So I said we've got a curry house uh, on the side. The, um, the, the fellow that runs the place, Raj, a uh, uh, fan that we were here, and he, he said, right, do you want to go and sit down for a minute? I'll send you some dishes over. So <laughs> we can probably try some of the stuff. So send some popping on over, and honestly, these are superb. Like, that's one of the best popping arms I've had in any Indian area. So, if that's the sign of the times, I can't wait to see what else it says. But... So, just uh, I said, those popping arms were amazing. They sent, uh, sent us out a couple of, couple of platters of these. See the steam still coming yeah, off right, these, but right. honestly, look at the beauty in these. Like, you got to take three uh, Look oh, at these. It's like, lovely. Thank you. Raj, Raj, right, this is Raj. This is the Hi. owner. Hey, this man's a gent, a true gent. Look at look at this spread. Look at us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Raj, we're gonna try this and we're gonna be honest. How confident how confident are you that I'm gonna love this? Oh thank you. How confident are you that I'm gonna love this? I mean the pop and were superb, yeah? Thank you. Yeah? What a man. What a man. Thank you, buddy. I mean I'm just I'm just on the carnic nile at the moment. Honestly, that is amazing. Right. That's the that's the perfect arm. Absolutely amazing. I haven't been dug into anything that's on this platter yet, but wow. Take your map. Honestly, incredible. So, look, so juicy. Look, you see, you see, yeah. Absolutely amazing. This is one of the best like curry ass spreads I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to struggle, honestly, to find better quality stuff. But look, so the chicken wing, and again, so a bite out of it. It's amazing. It's better than, it's better than chicken wings rather than chicken wing places. Um, but there's a, there's a chicken tea thing there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the it's all a bit. It's all a bit. It's honestly. Honestly, it's phenomenal. It's, it's 10 out of 10. Uh, for the food quality. This is a pub. On a heart still, my own. Yeah. Nah. Uh, so now it's. I'm still licking my. Yeah, honestly, I can't stop licking my lip. This is phenomenal. Uh, you want a curry anywhere in the Stoke on Trent area? Honestly, come out here. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I'm hopping on. Honestly, look at the juiciness in this. This is the chicken tikka. Look at that. That is amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's not a bad dish here. And if this is what the quality of their stuff they produce is, this is phenomenal. Kind of bit straight because I, I think that sometimes you think that I'm just blowing smoke up people's backsides and uh, because they because they're going to sell it for nothing. But honestly, right, look at the plan. So the uh, the things come out. Look, we have absolutely decimated these. And right, overall verdict, guys, please. Lovely. Yeah. Good. Super. Yeah. Super. Honest. Absolutely banging. Ten out of ten. Um, for all of that, that was that was absolutely magnificent. So 100% get yourselves down to, to the Noah's. Uh, you can have a beer, you can have a curry, you can have a great time. So they're, they're lovely people to run it, and this is absolutely banging. Right, so I get a little bit of history about the Noah's. So uh, until a while ago, it was a Thai place, um, but it's also got really bad Google reviews, historical Google reviews, about being a rough pub, um, fights, aggravation, and, and general shite. However, honestly, these guys have been there for 18 months now, by those ones, and it is phenomenal now. So. Ignore the old Google reviews for the Noahs. Look to the fact that now Indian owners with an Indian food offering that is honestly exceptional. I wouldn't say if it wasn't. I would just tell you it was shy. It wasn't. It was fantastic. He also, I think he wanted to provide us with a full, uh, wanted to bring us like curries out and stuff as well. So no, 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 we've got to go. But what we had, absolutely superb. Asked some of the customers in there as well, obviously eat there, like how is it? And they were like, yeah, really happy with it. 
go, honestly, go and give the Nowas a chance for a curry because I can't think of a better curry house right now off the top of my head anywhere in the country that I've been to where the people are as lovely and the food is as good. So go and see them. Incredible experience with some curry. The last thing I'm in the mood to do is drink more beer. But I'm going to do it anyway just for you. So we're walking down a mile. So it's been a four minute. So the last thing I'm going to move to do after a curry is have uh, any more to beer. But you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for you. So four minute walk down a sanctuary. There's like a modern vibe in kind of establishment. I'm well up for it. That curry was superb. But the sanctuary up next time. Uh, great little beer house. There's some decent choices on here. I don't know these. Like, good tap choice. Look, neon. It's always nice seeing neon wrapped up wherever we go. I had this hand luggage was very, very nice. Got some great tap choices. And stuff in there. Good choice. Lovely little places. Lovely little vibe. Fair little place. Top notch. So that's the fourth, fourth one of the mile done. God, that's what we've got left to do. But I'm enjoying the mile so far. It's nice. Top little beer selection in there. They also let me try that, uh, the Night Jar British Stout they've got in there, which was very nice. Um, never, never heard of that before, but it was quite impressive. Quite liked it. Lovely guys running it. Good, uh, good house to be fair. Um, right, 100 yards further down the road on the opposite side. Stop number five of the mile. The old house at home. <sighs> looks, like, looks like a traditional old, uh, old booze to me. So that is, uh, yeah, stop five in a mile. Still community local, this bit of karaoke and stuff going. Nice friendly bunch of uh, stuff on the uh, bus. Titanic's Plum Porter, which you know how much I love. And they got all the good stuff on the taps. And then this. This, the bane of my life, the worst Irish company ever get anywhere in the world is Colin McGregor rubbish. Lovely little pub though, lovely friendly people. Could be a karaoke game. Just need to bin that four star is now out. Love it though. It's a lovely little part to be honest. And, uh, don't don't take my word. It's, uh, I, I just I just I just get I get a beam in my that four star is stacks. It's so bad. But yeah, don't tell me. Uh, but right next door, aside, yeah, aside from that, it's a lovely little pub. To be honest. Right next door, is the artisan tap, and it is literally yeah. There's so uh, right next door. This is my kind of distance between pubs. Fifth, sixth, sixth on the mile, sixth on the mile. Artisan tap. Quirky layout, quirky decor. Great stuff on the tap. A vacation. I remember this from Bear Town. Love Bear Town Brewery. But some wicked, wicked, wicked stuff on the pools and the taps in there. Great little place, this. Quirky layout, quirky decor. Come on over, come on over, water me. Come on over, look through it. Look at that. Can't go wrong with stuff like that, can you? Yeah, great little place, this. Quirky. I love the word quirky. Loved it in there. Thought the Artisan was a, a very nice pub. Uh, enjoyed it, enjoyed the aesthetics. It's quirky. I like a bit quirky. Um, We've had to now walk past three of the ones that we need to do on this mile because we're going to have to come to Cask Bar because this one shuts at 10. So this is here, um, which is literally the, the furthest point on the mile with the, the museum that's opposite. These are the furthest points on this mile. But this one decides it's going to shut at 10 o'clock on a Saturday night. So there are some on this mile that don't open until 4, some that shut at 10. It's just, it ruins this. We've, we've now got to go back on ourselves to do the rest of it. If you want to come to Stoke or, or the or Newcastle, or wherever the area, and do this, you need to be able to do it as a, an actual. The pubs need to work together and work something out. Shutting at ten o'clock on a Saturday night is absolutely insane, especially when you're the bottom pub of a what is a a, a, a well-known thing around this area. Doing this, doing this crawl, it makes no sense to me. Hopefully, it's worth it when we get inside. We'll go and see. But yeah, I, I cannot get my head around the fact that these shut at 10 on a Saturday night when they're the bottom of this crawl and they're the closest bit to town. It makes no sense to me. Let's hope the pub does. I mean, it is lovely. It is very nice. I'll be honest. So, load of awards up. Final of all, was, uh, competition night. Hold a month. Things like that. It is, no, it's, it's very, very nice. Yeah. Got some, uh, got some good choices on the taps as well as uh, on the hand holes. We're gonna, we're gonna come around. Okay, King Rat. I like some King Rat as well, I like it. <laughs> you can't, you can't be a fan of that. Actually, second very. Sorry, but it is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it is a lovely, it's a lovely gaff, yeah. Um, I do like it, but I can't get me around that. 10 o'clock close. I can't work it out. I can't work at 10 o'clock close up. Lovely place. Terrible closing house. So, uh, the car spot, honestly, I really, really like it. I hate, honestly, I despise the fact they shut at 10 because it really does feel like they're cheating people on this on this crawl. So we're now trying to do four to do on it and we're trying to, we need to go back up the hill and try and get to everything that shuts before 11. It's now, it's 10 past 10, over the road. So the car spot's there. 
We're going to go straight over the road to this one, the museum, which shuts at 11, we think. So we'll do this, and then we're going to get back up to the other three. But it, it's, it's a real, it, this is a great, oh, this is a great pub court to do. It's, it's, it's full of great pubs, full of great people. But pubs at the bottom of it shutting at 10 make no sense to me. It really doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. So, right, museum up next. We can record this one. Right, Stokey's amongst you, we all know. I walked in and I said, I said to the girls, I went, right, if one of you girls, the three of you, can tell me who this gentleman is in the yellow shirt, I'll buy the round. Failed to realise that obviously Gordon Banks was born in Stoke, didn't I? So Jody was straight away, went, well, that's Gordon Banks, dickhead. Yeah. Cost me £16, that bet. This is why I don't bet, because I'm terrible at it. And, Oh, clips on the back side. So, uh, cut the handles on. And the bass. Love the bass right here. Love the bass. Lovely little pub. Lovely little pub. Local pub. Friendly, friendly thing. Three left to do on a mile. Let's go and try and do them. Right. Had to walk back up a steep incline. It was a steep incline. It wasn't that steep. It was just an incline. It was a very slight incline. You know, if you're in a treadmill in a gym, because <laughs> I go to the gym. It would be like a 0.5 or something like that. Wasn't really inclined. But right, we're trying to get we're trying to get these in now before they shut. The Greyhound is the next one. Titanic Brewery Pub. There you are. Titanic Brewery Pub, the Greyhounds. You know how much I love a Titanic Brewery Pub. Can't wait to get in here. Greyhound up next. I once again pose the question. Do Titanic Brewery have a bad pub? And I once again answer the question. No, they don't. This is amazing. It's wicked. But I did get a little scared because they didn't have plum porter on this side, but it is around the other side, so I have got one, look. I have got me plum porter. I know, but some wicked stuff on, again, in here, with... And the classics. <laughs> we'll get Andy out of the way, here we go. Right, the classics, icebergs, spirits, spirits. Some of these, here we go. The 60s now. Good choice, isn't it? I love both, but I love all Titanic pubs. And I think this is a particularly nice one again as well. Um, honestly, Titanic Brewery, they are one of my favourite breweries in the country. Because, uh, anyone know why that's set to that time? Uh, anyone seen the James Cameron movie, might. Or Wicked Place. There it is, look. There he is, the plum pour. And they've got a, sip, a separate little room round the back. Go on. Hey. Go on. Follow, follow, Jody's followed Holly into her back room. It's not the first time we've been in Holly's back room, but. I'm here all week. Right. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. So, the most recurring name on the pub call is the Red Line, because it is the most common recurring pub name in the UK. I think this is our 34th. So we've checked that it's still open. They were expecting us apparently, so they've, they've waited. It's just after 11 o'clock now that we're here. So, also, I think. That's what it looks like. Uh, we've also uh, ad adopted, so we've got, we've now got a nine-seater, uh, a nine-seater minibus ferrying us around to the to restaurants to make sure we can get everywhere we need to go. I don't organise this stuff. I just go with the flow. But yeah, Red Lion is uh, second, third to last stop on the mile that we can do. I'm having a great day. It's like the party room. Party central. I like it. Late night, obviously. Remember the last ball game. That's just that one. Love it. I like it. Honestly, I really like it. I like it a lot. Man, the party room. Hello. How are we doing? Cheers. Man, the party in here. I know, it's, I know it's a bit dark to see, but I mean, literally, I'm, I'm sitting in the backyard. That uh, that white hut over there is a, a massive. This is a massive right outdoor big one. A, sec, a separate bar for the uh, for the garden and stuff. Wicked. Honestly, wicked little place. We've got a pool table in the back room. Um, lovely people drinking there. <laughs> I, I actually, yeah. This is this is my kind of late night party vibe. So yeah, top thing. Camden uh, Hell's Lager and Stout on. Can't go wrong with that, can I? Uh, sorry, Camden Hell's Pale and Stout on. <laughs> I've had a few now. But yeah, a uh, wicked, wicked place. Absolutely love it. Really like the red line. Uh, lovely people in there. Like that's definitely my kind of late night, late night vibe, late night pub. Um, right, but back in the minibus and up to the hop in, which is uh, sister pub to the Whippet Inn that we were in earlier, which I absolutely loved. So I've been very excited about coming here today. I think it's the last one of the technical mile that we're doing because there was one that's now going to be shut, and then we've got one back in Newcastle to do to complete our night. But 
Honestly, I've had a wicked time. I think this is, this is such a good area for drinking. You can come here, you can have a great time. Two to do, let's do them. Talk to me about late night good beer houses and I'm gonna throw this one right in there. So, I loved the Sister Bubba there, absolutely loved it. And this, for, for the craft beer, the enthusiasts amongst them, I'm gonna say like, you find a craft beer pub and it's somewhere nice, especially it's still open, wonderful. Find one that's got a dipper on, that's a double IPA for those of you who don't speak craft beer wanker like me. Um, and you'll be well awake. This is it, it, this is as good as for dance putty. Um, I will show you what it is in a minute, but mm. slightly magnificent. That was in a song somewhere, I know. But let's have a look at what we've got in here. But I've watched Master of the Day in here, but let's have a look at what we've got in here. They have some absolutely fine real ale choices. Yes. On, yes. on these marble yes. stout. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? But coming around. So this is what this is the this is the uh, this is the, uh, the double IBR I'm talking about. And it is pretty special. Well, a bit some. But what, yeah, what a wicked place. Late on. Late on. Late on. Find a dipper. Gotta be happy on it. I am. Well happy.